That was where I did it. Do it, do it. Let's you, go, dude, are you on something me? right now. What is up, y'all? Hope y'all having a wonderful day. We're out here at Frisco Lakes. This is actually part two of a two-part little mini-series that me and Micah are filming. Trying to shoot 59 two-ball scramble. Part one is over on Micah's channel, so go check that out if you haven't watched that already. Spoiler alert, we finished at three under par for the nine holes. We're on to the back nine. This is number one here at Frisco Lakes. Mike is gonna be leading it off. Hole number one out here at Frisco Lakes is a par four. It's 400 yards from the tips. We're not sure. The wind's been kind of all over the place today, but I think it's a little off the right. But I think we can just both hit hard drivers all day. That's what we're going to be doing. Trying to stay aggressive. We tried to do it in my video, and we did pretty well, but we're going to get on with it. I'm hitting driver, taking it off that little chimney in the background. Zach, let's make something happen today. Oh, boy. That was hit well. Down the left side. The hole does bend a little to the left. I think he hit that right where he wanted it. Yeah, that, that should work out really well. Zach can just go after this one now. Two perfect balls. You can't hit him any better than that on here on hole number one. He's just impossible. We'll take that all day long right there. Let's go find it, hit it again. All right, so we're trying to manage this course well. Mine was up there a little bit, but Zach, has a, he's in the fairway. He has a clean lie. And we have a front pin, so I'm hitting 60 degrees. Zach says it's 79 yards. That's something. It's not great, but it's something. Come on. Did that land in the hole? <laughs> it looked like the hop looked like it landed on the edge of the hole. That was the weirdest hop on a green I've ever seen. All right, so we're in pretty good shape here. Kind of spun back a little bit. This is the best attempt, if you watch my video, that we've had at birdie all day, which is kind of sad, but. So Mike is thinking it's playing pretty straight. I think it's probably maybe breaking fractionally to the right. Dude, good roll. All right, Zach, you know what it does? Just uh, give it a run here. You can be be aggressive. That's Very what you nice. love to see on the Dad. channel here today. Pin slammer on the 10th hole. Moves us to four under. This is what you like to see. Low That's momentum. That's a great sign. It That's is. a great sign. Great start right there. We're on to the 11th hole, second hole here in this video. Does bend a little to the left, 428 yard par four. We're gonna keep Micah going first. I think this is the order. This is the order, it worked there on 10. My line is straight over that little, you can't really see it because it blends in, but there's that, there's a, there's like that little dead tree and then there's that tree on the corner. Yep, I Take see it. Right it. over that and hit it hard. And I don't think he wants that one back. That was hit well. Yeah. Great Thank swing. You. Thank you. A little slippy, but man, he just absolutely ripped it. That is two excellent golf uh, shots. I think both of those are gonna work out just fine. All right, so my ball ended up kind of like right back in there. Tig right here. Tig is creating some speed. Love to see it. We have 65 yards left. Yes, this hole is 400 and what was it, 28 yards? So that ball was hammered on. I just want to get my distance control down with my wedges. I feel like it's kind of been a little bit off all day, but I'm going to hit a little knockdown 60 degree with some spin. That pin is, is on enough to where we have some green to work with. What? What is going on? Dude. Did that ball just slip into a fourth dimension or something? <laughs> I think it did. Thought it was going to be left of the flag. Ended up 
well right of the flag and long. All right, so it looks like there's where I landed, kind of hopped back there and then went off to the right. Unfortunately, it this isn't exactly what you want in a scramble from 65 yards. No, not at all, but maybe I can make a putt this time. All right, Mike is aiming a bit out to the right. Should be breaking from right to left. Good speed. I just cannot get him to match up. Do it, do it. Let's go, Dude, are you're you on kidding something me? right now. We're getting hot. Get this thing. This thing's hot. <laughs> that is that is nice. That is what you like to see right there. We are now five under, two under here on the nine. I mean, we could shoot 59. We need some eagles. We need some eagles, but you know, it could happen. How about that momentum right there? That is huge. Zach with two clutch putts on the last two holes. And now we're on to another par five that I think we can get there. It's gonna be tough, but I think we can get there. Number three out here, par five does bend to the right a little bit, 558 yards. Our target line here is gonna be that bunker that you see off in the distance, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. For a second, I was thinking with the wind, if you hit a draw, it could help it a little bit, but I'm just not feeling 100% confident, so I'm gonna hit it at the bunker. And he did exactly that. That is heading right at the bunker. Dude, great drive. Thanks, dude. I don't know where this is coming from, but I am, I am hitting it hard right now. Micah is creating some speed. Great drive. <laughs> the ball is landing in three, two, one. I mean, I think landing. we'll take both of those right there. Both of those were fantabulous. <laughs> Guys, we have 270 yards left. And I don't know. I'm going to hit a hard, hard two iron. Maybe get to this somewhere around the front of the green, but I'm going to try to let the wind bring it in there. All right, this is what we're faced with. You can see the pin over that bunker there. Mike has got two iron. I may have to hit that two iron here too. I would highly suggest that. The old slinger heading out to that bunker on the right. Might be in the bunker? Uh, I, I don't know. I think it's actually a little bit short of the bunker. 21 degree. Mike is two iron. We're going to give it a rip. Feels good. Yeah. All righty, so Mike is right here. Great angle chipping back up the hill. Mine was over there about pin high. Not a good angle to that pin. From 270 into the wind, we got, we're working with something here. I'm going to hit 52 degree and try to land it a little short of the heel and let it run up. Big thing here is we don't want to be spinning this ball much. Go. Go. That just ain't it, man. That was close. That's even going to come back down that hill more. That was, was close, close, though. It just was not quite it. I think I'm going to go pitching wedge, actually. I like it. Land it roughly around where yours was, maybe just a little past. Now this is more like it. That may be a little long, but that gets us up there on top of the, on that second ridge. We're up which top is, there, which boy. Is good. That scooted up that hill yeah. more than I thought it would. All right, so mine did roll out just a little bit, about 20 feet, kind of putting back down the hill. I mean, I think it's kind of breaking the whole way. It's kind of hard to tell, but I'm gonna play it probably at least a foot of break. Go! Dude, that was a good line. All right, we're in for par. All right, Zach, you can hit, let's do it again, man. Let's do it. Gosh. 
played just a little too much break. However, we're in with the par here, still five under. Five under, and that is just a tough hole. There's, I mean, you could debate, maybe we, I mean, we could have laid up. Eh, which that like would, I mean, I like the play, but you can just, there's, I mean, hindsight, you can always do something different, but win for par. So that's pretty, pretty good, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty, Mike is going to lead it off. We're on to number four here. 491, par four. Dog leg to the right, green sits off back in there, but our aiming point's going to be like right in there with a little fade. Mike's driver has come to play. Alright, Zach. Dude, that was Swing a great away. Drive. Thanks. Two perfect tee shots. We are hitting our drivers well tonight. One, four, three. One, four, three is what Micah says. Another great drive right here. Micah, you are swinging the driver very well. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm kind of slotted right now, which feels good. It feels good to be able to swing hard and hit the center of the face. It is. I'm going to hit a nine iron. Nine iron, 143, little into the breeze. Here's the pin right there, kind of front left corner. Oh boy, that looks good. Oh, that was right at it. I think that's okay. It's a little bit short, but I think it's I actually pretty close. Yeah, I don't think it's that short. All right, I'm going with eight iron here. See if we can't get it all the way back to the pin. Mike is in great shape right there. However, I'm gonna just try to get after it a little bit more. Try to get it back there with the eight. Hold it. You can see it right it's there. Pin high. It's pin high. Left just on the fringe, but we've got some options. Alrighty, Micah hit a great shot right there, right in line, just a little short, and then mine right here, off the green, but pin high. This one does seem to be pretty simple, so I think we're going with mine here, pin high, maybe 20 feet. These are always tough, putting through rough, for putting through fringe, but I'm going to say that it's going to pull it to a little bit to the, to the right okay. at first, and then it's going to kind of straighten out. Oh, that looks good. Oh. Dude, did that go back to the left a little? A little bit. Saw what mine did, so he's gonna give it a run. Same exact thing mine did. I hit the exact same putt as what you did right there. Yep, dead center. Back. Another par, Rimp five par. under. Five under through whatever. Something like through that. something like that. <laughs> yeah. Guys, we're kind of chasing daylight here, so we're probably going to speed things up a little bit. Hang on. 196 yards to the pin. Um, I got six iron. Zach's got five. I, it's kind of hard to tell, but I think it's dead into the wind now. It is. I'm going to play it off of the right side of the green, hit a little draw. I went back and grabbed my five iron. Six iron just went into the wind. Heading a little right. I got you. That was just not good. She's heading a little bit left, but it should be about pin left. I think we're actually putting. That was a good shot. Thanks. Left side. That was a good shot. That was what that was from. Thank back. you. We are got something that's breaking a little bit to the right. That looks good break. Not as much as I thought, but I think Zach has a good idea about what it is now. Do it, do it, do it. No! 
No! That was a tickler right there. That's what you call that. Can you make Just that like game? a three footer that has a smidge and a break down the hill, down grain. Those are not fun, but it's in the hole. I didn't want to hit that. <laughs> Currently five under total for the full 18, two under here on the back nine, which is the front nine here. So yeah, a little confusing there. However, we're on to number six. This is my personal favorite hole out here. I always hit terrible drives. So hopefully we can find the fairway here. I've missed this fairway to the right every single time. I don't know why. This is just kind of in my head a little bit. So hopefully Tick hits a good one here. 431 yard par four. And there's really no reason for this to be a difficult tee shot. However, I tend to make it. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's just, let's just rip one here. Oh boy. Best I've ever seen Tig hit driver slash maybe anyone ever. <laughs> like literally every drive you've hit so far today has been money. It has been crazy. Look at that. Even a little draw. <laughs> We have found the fairway here on number six for the first time. You love to see it. All right, so Tig ended up here. I was just a little bit behind him. However, Tig, you're creating some speed. Love to see it. It's coming together right now, and I hope I can figure out what's, I mean, sometimes you practice a long time, and then, like, you just, it all of a sudden comes together, and I'm hoping that's kind of what's happening. Zach knows about that. Absolutely. You practice, you practice, you practice, and then one day it feels like it clicks. 112 yards. I'm gonna hit a little baby pee wedge. All righty. See the pen right there whipping in the wind. Heading left side. All right, just off the green left. Yeah, that was that got a bad bounce, but it was just a bad shot. All right, I've got gap wedge here. See if we can't fly it low, knock it close. I like this. Uh, you can be a little more confident with it. I was kind of timid. You saw it over on the right. I think that's I think that's pin high. Alrighty, we're in good shape here. Pin high, like I said, about 20 feet. I need to make a putt. I hadn't made one all day. This is your time to shine. I'm just gonna hit this line that I'm that I'm confident with. Break in there for him. Oh, dude, that was a great putt. <laughs> I hit it good. I don't know. You just you can't hit him better than that without him going in. I like this. I like yes. it a lot. Let's go. <laughs> Zach is being just. We are here on six. This thing is. He's been a hammer today. Hot. Putting second Whoa. and making the putt. Let's is go. Huge. That was massive right there. Dude, that looks super cool. Moves us to six under on the day. We're onto a drivable par four, number seven, our 16th hole. Tig's going first, 290 to the flag, probably about 255, 260 carry the water. And that sun is setting perfectly right behind the green. So you're probably not gonna be able to see a whole lot except for the water and the sun. Hopefully we can knock it on. So the target line is pretty much the sun. Fading just a little bit to the right, kind of right side of the green. All right, should be all right. That should be somewhere around the front of the green. If not, maybe catch a piece of it, but that's a good position. That was right at it. No splash. No splash there, kind of right center of the green. We'll go find out. Hopefully one of us is putting. Yours is like, remember that break is straight up. And That's true. And this breaking hard to the left. Tig, right down here, great drive. Mine is kind of right over there. Maybe a slightly better angle up, up the slope here to this pin. 
Yeah, this one is straight uphill, whereas mine was going to be breaking hard to the left. So we're going to take this one, give ourselves the best opportunity of chipping in. May have to borrow your wedge because I forgot to bring mine. Go, go. Okay. It rolled out better than I thought it was. Dude, that is not good. Bad. Yeah. I'll take it. Never a doubt. Never a doubt. Is Although that seven? that's seven. Dude, we're, we're on a, a run. We're on a roll. We're gonna finish strong. And go birdie three, eagle. And a par five left, and the par five is gonna be very reachable today with this wind. We have 134, 135 yards to this pin, and the wind is just straight left to right. I'm hitting nine iron again, just trying to keep this pin off of it and trying to chase something back there. This is a super cool par three, basically an island green. You can see it up there. Can we go birdie eagle to finish to get to 10 under? That would be huge. We have a great opportunity to possibly do that if we can stick one close here. That was hit well. A little deep right. Is it? I don't even know if it's quite on. I think I just kind of overpowered that a little more than I was expecting. It's not very birdieable from there. Alrighty, I'm going nine iron as well. I'm gonna play it a little further to the left than Tig. That wind is like really pushing to the right. So I'm gonna be aiming maybe at that tree and let the wind push it on over. I like it. Ooh. Dude, it's tough to see it down. I think it's long. Is it really? I think it's long because it was going back to the pin and, and it's not on the green. Or I can't see it unless well. my eyes are just that bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we both ended up a little long. Yeah, However, Zach's here 20 feet. Let's just tap this in and get to the next hole. hitting good putts right now which is making me sad i don't mind missing putts if you hit a quality putt do it again oh. that came out of there a little hot that was a little hot i had a good line just a little firm all right we well, are in tig knocked it in there for us we are at seven under one to play par five the last hole, see if we can't make an eagle. Um, 550 left, 550 yard par five to finish it here. Pretty straight, be, yeah, does bend gonna, to the right. We're gonna Think hit hard. Tig's gonna be aiming over in there. He did just that. It should be really good. I Are you I, serious? I don't think I've hit one that hard today. Because of the where that's going to land, it's going to kick straight forward. So we'll take that. Alrighty, here's where mine ended up. 164. That is what you love to see into a par five. Tig hit a very good drive. It was just in the left rough. However, this angle should be pretty good. Probably aiming just a fraction to the right of that pin location because that pin's kind of back left corner. What club you got? Being downwind like this, I'm gonna actually hit a P wedge. That looks pretty good. There it is, right there. Is it on? It, it, I can't tell. It looked like it definitely landed on. You think it's long? It might be a little bit. Dang, it right. might be. It definitely well, looked like it landed on. Okay. Well, I know I got it back then. I don't know. I don't. I have no idea. I literally can't see. It. Like Zach I has just absolute eagle eyes. I could see it slightly through the camera. I, there's no way I could see it right now. And so that's why I said it. Like I saw it bounce. 
and then it was like trundling and I couldn't tell where it stopped. I'm going with pitch wedge too, because I do think that that's the play. That one is for sure on. It's rolling to the right, but it's going to be okay. Okay, we're putting. Jeffrey would take a putt. So Tiggs Mine was, was right, right there, pin high. He had a great shot, just fractionally right. I don't know. What do you think? Do we chip it or putt it? I think we putt it. We've been you've been putting really good. Tig for eagle. That is the line go in. Dude, that wiggle back to the left. Right at the end, it just yeah. moved it a little bit left. Otherwise, I thought that was gonna go in. I was like, that would be a great way to finish it. Where's the left? Well, guys, looks like we're gonna be finished at. I think we're gonna finish at eight. eight under. Yeah. We'll take that, solid play, you know. Eight under 64 for me and Zach on 18 holes, look at that. All right, birdie here on the last, let's go. Hope y'all enjoyed coming along. That was so much fun, finished at eight under. Thanks so much, Micah, for having me out. Make sure to go subscribe to Micah. We've done a bunch of videos between the two channels, so you don't wanna miss any of the epic content over there. And I guess that's it. We're just gonna end it. It's cold, I'm freezing, <laughs> yeah, my nose is running, up. and it's a little breezy, so that's it. Until next time, see you when we see you. Peace. Peace.